Yep, back out. Again, we're just out for a little wander first before we go on the camp. We just come to Lowe's Water, which is really nice. Look at it. We're trying to find a little beach to just have a little sit down on. We've got a picnic blanket. What's become of us? It's really early to go out into the hills yet. So we're just having a mooch. We're gunning for a ratch. It's nice here, like. Never been here. Let's see what we'll come against. Come on, just do it. This, this is what people want, entertainment, man. Oh, can I get my leg in? Come on, you can get your leg anyone? in. You can get your leg in. Hold, it, in. hold the two green handles. <laughs> That's what the green handles are for. No, can I get it in there? <laughs> Break this leg. I'm so sorry for just trapping you in water. It would like, be the best thing. Need a break. Need a comedy start. Done. This is the, this is where we just having a little couple of hours by the shore before we set off. We're going up. That's Mel Break. So we're going through the valley to the right of that, all the way through. The valley walk. Right, ready? Put your head through there. Oh. And you're on. Yeah. Me again. Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> I don't like it. You can't beat a bit of bully. Couldn't care less. Give us the grass, he says. Give us the grass. And get on your way. Ugh, come on. Turn round. Anyway, this is Mel Breck. We're not going up there. We're going to go like through the valley and round the back of Hencomb. Coombe. Look at the size of his nudges. <laughs> oh no, his lipstick suit. Right, that's it. He's disgraced himself. Right, so we've come from all the way along the bottom here. It's quite an easy walk, like. And then it forks left to go up Melbreck. That's that's the path up Melbreck if you want it, you can either go left or right. That's the true summit on the right. Camped on that, but that is so steep, that, that path there. It's a killer. But the fork, you come right. It's like a non-descript path to start with, but then it changes. It's back to being a path. And we'll go down here, around the back of there. Uh, apparently it's at the back of there. How are you feeling? Oh, don't. <laughs> I feel terrible. She's got migraines. Migraines. And I'm making a walk miles in the hot sun. Come up with me. You work. You don't have an easy ride. You work. Oh, shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
Hey, eh? I'll not have descent in the ranks for sure. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to find this river. We'll just follow the path down to the river, which is yeah, we can hear it. We can hear it. We can actually see it. It's just there. And then you just follow the path along the river. You cross over the river, and then you just crack on. But if you follow a map, you'll find it's easy enough. I'm saying that we're not there yet. But the whole walk's about three mile from the pub. We didn't park at the pub, we parked at the National Trust car park at Maggie's Bridge, which is free if you're a National Trust member. I think it's free anyway. Couldn't see any pay machine. So if you come to the path here, it's really boggy. This is summer and we're still going up, we're, um, still going up the boots. So in the winter, or the, the wet season, I can imagine it being really horrible. You probably have to walk over here. Anyway, we're making good progress. We're about to cross the river of terror. for miles, man. Through bogs of hell. We've come out of this town. Find out the name of that later. There's somebody over there. If that's you, give us a wave. Boosh. Fluton Tarn. Flautern or Fluton. Locals call it Fluton. That good? Yep. I'm going to find a pitch that's not boggy now. This is going to be a canny trick. Come back. So we've come right from along there. It's all boggy as hell. A little bit, but we've decided on this, this bit. It's flat enough. Let's put the driest bit. It's all right. I've got the back to the wind. There's a lad over there pitching. Can't see him later on, like. Trude. Can we remember the name of that hill? I can it. Let's see. Let's see if we can remember what it's called. Great Bourne, that's it. Great Bourne. If we got here earlier, I probably would have went up. But it's uh, it's now like it's ten past eight. <laughs> We've just got here. The hands are not feeling too good. And I dragged her all the way up here. So I'm the I'm the villain. I'm the villain of this piece. Alright, we're gonna get our stuff sorted out and then just chill out. Oh dear. Well we're getting damp patches on the tent because look at that, look at the colour. Great bone. The sun's gone down and the temperature has just drastically dropped. This is what brings the condensation when the temperature goes down like this. It's been so hot today, but now out of the sun it's freezing. So that sudden temperature drop causes chaos, condensation, no matter what the tent. That's so airy and the, the wind is blowing through it, but it's still getting condensation. Just been over there chatting to the lad over there, so hello Dave or Kit Kat. <laughs> Kit Kat. Nice lad. He's doing some uh, he's doing a overnighter. And he's doing some more walking tomorrow. His daughter's doing the Duke of Edinburgh. Well, that's all good. But yeah, God, oh, it's freezing. Show the beers. Got some good ones this time. Even sharks need water. Eating mess. Looper, which I'm gonna have next. My may the buck be with you. What the hell that means? And a ten dollar shake. Oh Jake head, that's a great, that's a really, really nice beer. Lad. Oh, it's freezing. 
Just don't have any shots. Yep, so another beer on. Just didn't get out this wind. It's a little bit of a breeze coming through. It's good because the breeze keeping the midges off us. So that's a good thing. It's not too wild. It's not as bad as it was last week. Or the week before. Lovely. Here we're gone. We're off. It's for, <laughs> I nearly swore there. It's five past ten at night. I'm on Jake Head. We're having steak. A couple of steak, rumps, nice big rumps. Yeah, Aldi. Two. Two double double pack, right? So that was in one pack. That's the other pack. What was it? Eight quid? Six quid or something. Cheapest chips anyway. And it's got peppercorn butter. So they chuck that in when they're uh, when they're getting done. Right. Good. Good crack. Two there to have. I've got some um I've got some tomato ooze, mate. Bit of tomato ooze. Chuck a few of them in. And in the bag of plenty. A bundles of asparagus nussness. They don't take long. You break the you break the ends off the bottom, you break it, it's got a natural break point. You break you don't cut it, you break it. Lob them in the pan. Couple of minutes, done. Nice. I'm gonna get, make sure that doesn't blow away. Right, so I eventually bought a pot grab. So I don't have to be like burning my hands all the time. I mean that like one. Flip that. Yeah, that's it. Let that cook. Oh, come back. A few tomatoes. A few tomatoes into the mix. I put the peppercorn butter in, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. It just dissolved and vanished. Nice. Here we go then. Asparagus. Steak all chopped up. Easy to pick out. Peppercorn butter. It's lovely. And the tomatoes. The piccolo tomatoes. How is it? Lush. What's your sparagus like? I think I may a little bit overdone that like. Might overcook that. Mmm. Yeah, that's got a crunch that. Nice. Very Tomatoes nice. Are lovely. Real food. Proper food. You know you can do this in the house. But why would you? When you've got all this out here. Oh, there's somebody over there. There's a, there's a head torch over there. Is there? Mm -hmm. Another person. Proper shining off the tarn as well. Mad. Everybody's welcome. They're all welcome. As long as you have whiskey. <laughs> right. I'm going to eat this and then just chill out. Morning campers. It is 8.30. We've been awake for about an hour, like, just can't be bothered to get up. Terrific convince, convincemation. What was it? Condensation. Terrible condensation through the night because of the temperature drop. Oh, it's bad. So even the most ventilated of tarp tents gets it. No rain, this is all just condensation. Ground's wet as well. And a little bit of mist on the top of there. Wait, cloud, low cloud. Dave's over there just packing away. There was another lad came through the night, walked along there with a head torch and he pitched up there and he's gone really early, he must be on a mission probably ticking rain rights off alright, so I've got to get the kettle on if I can find it we had a slack night last night, like didn't even drink half of these with Elsie's migraine <laughs> Elsie, can I get beaten up? 
Right, let me get the kettle on. Right, we're off. We've packed up. It's only, what is it, 10 o'clock or something? something like we just don't rush us like when we go out. So nice. We're letting the tent dry off as well. So we've left just a bit of flat grass here. Now it's cooking here. You'll notice there's no burnt grass this time. I had the little round silver mat out. And that's it. Dave's gone from over there. Just a draw. Leanne's feeling lots better. This is my being on camera now. And this is called Fluting Top. I don't think that's the way in right. I thought coming up we had to go up there, but we didn't, luckily. Couldn't be asked. So we're going to head back along this path, up to the fence with back to the stile, and then go back the way we came, through the bogs. Right, we're off then. Let's do this. So if there's anything interesting, we'll come back. If not, and we won't. Simple. Keep it simple. if you use running water. Still a little bit discoloured, but it's nice, it's all right. Fresh, no taste, no flavour. And it's nice and refreshing. It's not too cold. It's just nice to wake you up. And we're just taking a little bridge break. Bridge of destiny. We've got about a mile left to go through that way. And then it's about half a mile to the car, maybe. Because we're parked somewhere other than where we wanted to. So that's it. Had a good time. Mm -hmm. Apart from the last night. Aye, apart from that. Bless her. She had a migraine still trooped all the way up bloody through all the bog and up the hill. Right. So I don't think there's anything else to film. We shall see you on the next one. A few moments later.